What's up guys, Crisis here. Uh, today I'm going to do a commentary about something I actually know a lot about and can relate to very highly. Uh, but first I'm just going to get the gameplay out of the way. It doesn't go too well, um, at all, really, but I only really had time for one game. Well, not really, but it's four in the morning, so I didn't want to play a whole bunch of games. So I pretty much just took the first game I got. Uh, <coughs> I go like 39 and 19? 38 and... never mind, I have no idea, I'm making that up. I get some kills, and I die a whole lot. It's probably going to be pretty boring, so I probably wouldn't even recommend watching it. You might want to just tab out to something else and listen to my voice. Or just close the browser at this point. Anyways, I wanted to talk about complacency. Because that's something I know an awful lot about, because I'm very complacent in life. And so I feel I can maybe help some other people who are also complacent in life. And the biggest thing that I've learned about complacency is don't do it. Uh, it's pretty hard, actually, to not be complacent because you kind of just get into a groove and then you're okay with it. Uh, starts pretty much at an early age for me, anyways. When I was in school, it was always like, oh hey, I'm getting decent grades. I don't really need to try because I'm perfectly content with getting B's on every assignment. Then... I, those would kind of drop a little bit, and I'd be like, well, I still don't have to try, because I'm pretty much okay getting C's on every assignment. Then that would drop a little bit, and then I would like, well, I really don't care, because now I'm not any good at anything anymore. So it kind of spirals downwards. Uh, also happened when I was working. I had a job, and I was supposed to get a raise after 90 days, I think it was? Yeah, after three months. And three months went by, and I was like, uh, well, I really don't care. I'm pretty much just happy making the money I'm making. I'm not even going to bring it up. I worked there for a year and eight months, and I made the same amount of money every day I was there for the entire time. Because I was just like, well, this is an okay amount of money. I don't really need more than this. I'm pretty much happy with it. Had I not been so complacent with that, I probably would have made significantly more money for the duration of my time working there, which would have been good in the long run. But I didn't really think about it. Uh, it also happens a lot, for me anyways, in my social life, in that there will be aspects of it where I'm, like, really active, I, like, always hanging out with friends, and then I just kind of stop, because I just, like, it's not that I get lazy, but I'm just, like, I'm complacent, like, I could stay at home, and why not? Like, I'm perfectly happy here. I know I could be happier somewhere else doing things with friends, but I'm pretty much just happy where I am. So, I could improve upon this situation, but I don't. And uh, I think that that's something that actually a lot of people can kind of relate to in different aspects, because I think a lot of people get comfortable with the situation and then don't seek to improve it, just because why fix what isn't broke, in a way? Even if it is broken, you're just kind of happy with it being broken and don't really care all that much. Um, which is a problem. So, here's my thing with it. Here's my advice to anybody out there who feels they are very complacent in life and how to fix it. My biggest advice would be realize things can improve. Every situ There's not a situation on the planet that can't get better in some way. Be it you make more money at work, you do better in school, you hang out with friends more, or something completely unrelated. Maybe you want to be better at video games, and you are just like, well, I'm actually pretty decent at video games, so who really cares? But maybe you want to be better. So just do it. Don't make up excuses. Don't be complacent about it. Just do it. Like, I'm not even endorsed by Nike. Maybe I should be. But there really is no reason to ever be complacent with things. There's never a reason to be like, okay, this is good enough for me. Because at the end of the day, it really isn't. No matter what the situation, it can always get better. I know I said that already. But it can improve and you can enjoy life even more if you just realize that doing, that not doing things just because you're happy with the situation you're currently in isn't going to make anything better. Yeah, it'll be the same. So if you're happy the way you are, that's good. You're happy. But eventually, you're gonna not be as happy. You're gonna be wishing maybe... Like, maybe this has already happened to you and you wish now you had done things differently. Or maybe it hasn't, which is good because you can prevent it in the future. But 
if you're in the situation now where you kind of realized, you know, I messed up by not pushing myself, not trying to get better at this, not trying to improve the situation I was in. If you're in that situation now, you know what it feels like, and it's not really a good feeling at, at all. It's uh, kind of kind of lousy. I was totally going to swear there, but prevented myself, because I'm good like that. Anyways, that was off topic. If you are in that situation, learn from it, because that's what I've done. And just do not make the same mistake twice. So if you get put in another situation where you can be like, Oh, hey, I'm happy with this but it could be better, but I don't really care. You should care, is what I'm trying to say. You should improve upon the situations that you're given, and any time you can make things better, you should do it. Don't just get complacent and be happy with it. By the way, check out the quad feed. That was completely luck. It was the only good clip in this entire uh, game. Anyways, that's pretty much, this game's wrapping up. I just wanted to get that off my chest because complacency is something I know a lot about and if nothing else this kind of helped me realize just how big of a deal it really is to stop caring about things and to just be happy with situations even if they aren't the best. Just pretending they're the best. That's not okay. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.